And I'm just going to pick up where she left off there. Now, the sheriff wanted to stay vigilant for all of Central Texas here and be aware of your surroundings to ensure that there is safety until Hogan is caught. In fact, let's hear from the sheriff in his own words. Go ahead and play that. Mr. Hogan, it ain't too late. You can turn yourself in. You know, I'm tasked with keeping you safe, and right now you've made a mistake, and I need you to turn yourself in. For those that may be harboring Mr. Hogan, I'm going to tell you, we're going to hunt you like a dog. We're going to hunt you 24-7, and if we find that you've helped him, I can assure you we will take your freedom. The sheriff went on to say the department will not stop until Hogan is finally found and then put into custody again. He says they've got at least 100 tips from the community and he encouraged people who think they saw something to go ahead and speak up. Hogan says that uh, Hogan was originally arrested for charges including theft of a firearm and assault on a family member. So far, they've had no luck with finding any leads on game cameras out there in the wilderness. Coryell County Sheriff Scott Williams, whom you just heard from there, answered many of our questions today we had about this search, but you can watch his entire interview, the questions we throw at him at the press conference, on the 6 News app or on Roku and Fire Stick.